So now we will go to the next topic which is solstice and equinox. Earlier we have seen that due to the revolution of the earth seasons are, seasons are formed. Due to the revolution that too in an elliptical orbit it gives rise to I told solstice and equinox which gives rise to seasons. Now we will see in detail what is this solstice and equinox. Okay. So see friends I told the earth is you all know earth is uh, the axis of the earth is tilted 23 and half degree. So it is not like this the earth is tilted somewhat. Okay. So what happens is imagine this as the sun, sun's rays. Okay. This is the earth which is revolving around the sun. Understand? So what happens is in a particular orbit the sun's rays fall directly on the equator. You, you can see the bulging part that is the equator. Okay. So the sun's rays fall directly on the equator, on the equator, overhead of the equator. So now what happens is when sun's rays are directly falling on this equator, the sun's rays will be equally distributed between the northern and the southern, southern poles. So both the northern and the southern parts will experience the equal amount of day and light equal amount of day and light night okay so that is known as the equinox equal amount of day and night so this is one scenario this is equinox which happens twice in a year dates we will check later so that is equinox but it will happen twice in a year okay now we'll see about the solstice there are two solstices northern solstice and southern solstice what happens during northern solstice is during this elliptical orbit it, uh, the earth will uh, the earth will be in such a position that it will be like this so, the sun's rays, the sun's rays will now fall on the Tropic of Cancer, which is on the northern part. Okay, this sun's rays will fall directly overhead on the Tropic of Cancer, like this. So, now what happens is, there will be more number of, uh, the sun's rays will be falling more on the northern part. On the equator, some, some, some part will be there. Mostly on the northern part, sun's, sun's rays will be there. So, that is... When this is happening, when northern solstice is happening, the northern part will experience a summer and the southern part which is in the darker side which will not receive that much of sunlight that will go to the winter. Okay. So, during northern solstice there will be you can experience the longest days in the northern hemisphere and the shortest nights in the and the shortest nights in the, in the northern hemisphere. So, during northern solstice there will be longer days and shorter nights in the northern hemisphere. During northern, during northern solstice, what happens in the southern hemisphere? Because southern hemisphere is not receiving that, that much amount of sun's rays. So, there will be, what to say, shorter days only. The days amount will be very shorter. That is about the northern solstice. Now, we will see what is southern solstice. Southern solstice, the same during the uh, revolution of the earth, the earth will be in such a position that the sun's rays will directly fall now on the tropic of capricorn which is in the southern part southern hemisphere okay so when the uh, the sun's rays are directly falling on the tropic of capricorn the more amount of sun's rays will be in the southern hemisphere so in southern hemisphere now it will be summer what happens in northern hemisphere which is in the darker side it will experience winter so there will be in southern solstice, there will be the southern hemisphere will experience the longest day okay, and the shortest night and the northern hemisphere vice versa will happen. So, that's, that is about equinox, northern solstice and southern solstice. This equinox will happen twice in a year. During equinox, the sun's rays directly hit on the equator. So, equal parts, the both northern and southern hemisphere will receive equal amount of sun, sun rays. So, equal number of days and equal number of nights. During Northern Hemisphere, Sun is Tropic of Cancer, so it is summer in the Northern Hemisphere, winter in the Southern Hemisphere, so the Northern Hemisphere will experience the longest day and shortest night. During Southern Hemisphere, if the Sun's rays fall on the Tropic of Capricorn and since it is falling on the Tropic of Capricorn, the Southern Hemisphere will experience the summer and Northern Hemisphere the winter. During Southern Solstice, the Southern Hemisphere will experience the longest day and the shortest night. Now we will go into the dates details. Okay? So I told equinox happens twice. One is spring equinox and other one is the autumn equinox, March 20 and September 23rd. About solstice, northern solstice date is June 21 and southern solstice date is December 22. Okay. So, how to remember these dates? This is a complex issue. Okay. So, there is nothing actually. To remember the date, I will say the diagram. Okay. What happens is, we will assume that we are starting from here. So, it will be uh, sun's rays are falling on Tropic of Capricorn. Can you see this equator, Tropic of Capricorn and Tropic of Cancer? Sun's rays now fall directly on the Tropic of Capricorn. So, what is that? It is the southern solstice. Southern solstice. Okay. So, it ha now the sun's rays are here. So, the date is December. Uh, dates you don't, I will just uh, mention the months. Date you see from here. Okay. So, now it is December. Southern solstice. 
Now what happens is the sun's rays will slowly move from the tropic of Capricorn to the equator. So now here the equinox happens. So what is the month? December. January, February, it will be March now. Okay. Now from the equator, sun's rays will gradually go to the tropic of Cancer, which is the northern solstice. So what is the month now? Here it is March. So April, May, it is June here. Okay, now the sun's rays will gradually from the Tropic of Cancer, it will again come to the equator. So, you will experience a second equinox. So, what is the month now? Here it is June. So, July, August, it is September. Okay, now again the sun's rays will come down. So, if it is coming down, what is the month? September. So, October, November, again December. So, this waves will go on year by year. So, every year you will experience two equinox one southern solstice and one northern solstice. Okay, so this northern solstice becomes important with respect to India. This tropic of cancer, you know, this tropic of cancer passes through India and this tropic of cancer divides India into equal halves, northern and northern India and south India, this tropic of cancer. Since this tropic of cancer divides India and also during northern solstice, the sun's rays are directly falling on the tropic of cancer, we celebrate June 21 as the International Yoga Day. There is some resemblance for that, okay. So this is about your solstice and equinox. And equinox, this uh, March 20, uh, they, are, they are calling us spring equinox and September 23, they are, they are calling us autumn equinox. So spring, autumn. So what about the summer and winter? I told. While during the northern solstice, during northern solstice, the northern hemisphere will experience summer and southern, southern hemisphere will experience the winter. During southern solstice, the southern hemisphere will experience the summer and the northern hemisphere will experience the winter. So I have covered four seasons, summer, winter, spring and autumn. So that is the occurrence of four seasons by the way of solstice and equinox. This whole thing is happening. Why? Because the orbit which the earth is moving around the sun is in the elliptical shape. If this is in the circular shape, you will not experience this solstice and equinox and there will be no rising of seasons. Every part of the world will experience the same season. Since it is elliptical and also the, the earth is tilted. If the earth is not tilted, then nothing will happen. Since the earth is tilted, we are experiencing varying, varying length of day and night and also these seasons are occurring. Okay, so broadly we have seen about rotation and revolution. Rotation will cause the day and night and revolution will give rise to these four seasons via this solstice and equinox. So I hope this concept is very clear. So now in this experiment, we will study about the equinox and the solstice. We all know there are two equinox and two solstice. So we will understand this experiment how this solstice and equinox works out. Now you can see the sun's rays coming and falling on the earth. Okay, so where the sun's rays are falling, it is falling directly on the equator. Okay, so since the sun's rays are directly falling on the equator, you can see the sun's rays are equally divided between the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. The rays are equally divided. So what happens, if both in northern and southern hemisphere, there will be equal day and equal nights happening. Since the, since the sun's rays are falling directly on the equator. So now we, this is about equinox and this happens twice a year. Now we will see what is northern solstice. In northern solstice what happens is the sun's rays falls directly on the tropic of cancer which is in the northern hemisphere. Due to this you can see very clearly that the northern hemisphere is so so brighter and the southern hemisphere is in the darker side. So, which means that there will be summer in the northern hemisphere during this time and there will be winter in the southern, southern hemisphere. So, the northern hemisphere will experience the longest day. What is longest day? Which means that sun will rise, okay, very earlier and it will, the sunset will happen very lately only. So, that will experience the longest day and there will be shortest nights. That is about the northern solstice. Now, we will see about the uh, southern solstice. During southern solstice, now see the sun's rays. It will go back again to the equator. Now again one equinox happens. Okay. Now again it is southern solstice. So what happens southern solstice? Now see, you can see very clearly that the sun's rays are falling directly on the tropic of Capricorn, which is on the southern hemisphere. So you can very clearly see from the experiment that the southern hemisphere or the southern side experiences the larger amount of sun's rays. So it is so so brighter and on the other hand see the northern hemisphere it is so darker which means that there will be summer 
in the southern hemisphere and there will be winter in the northern hemisphere during the southern solstice. So, the southern hemisphere will experience the longest day and the shortest night. Okay, so again the sun's rays will come to equinox, to northern hemisphere, again to equinox and again to southern solstice. So, this cycle will be going on and because of that only, four seasons are occurring. What are the four seasons? Spring, autumn, summer and winter. Accordingly, this will happen. So, this two solstice and equinox will give rise to the occurrence of seasons. So, friends, I hope that you are very clear with the solstice and equinox in this experiment.